guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone's doing great. Today I'm going to show you how I made this easy and inexpensive Christmas centerpiece. If you enjoy this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up, leave me a comment, share this video, and if you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It's free and I would love to have you as a subscriber. For this DIY, you're going to need one container and I picked up Santa's sleigh at Marshall's. You're going to need some foam. You're going to need some Christmas picks and I picked up that mistletoe bush. It's Mainstays brand at Walmart. And then the rest of my Christmas picks came from Dollar Tree. So the poinsettias are from Dollar Tree. The glitter ferns are from Dollar Tree. And then I also have a couple things in a package. So one of the silver cedar picks, and you'll need two of the mini pine picks, all from Dollar Tree for this centerpiece. Now you're not going to need any ribbon unless you just want to add a bow. First I cut the foam to fit the little sleigh and hot glued the foam in. And then now I'm starting with the two packages of the little picks from Dollar Tree and you're just going to push them into the foam and I start it around the back of the sleigh. So if you're doing this to face one direction, start at the back of your face and then kind of build around to the front. You could add a dot of hot glue on the end of each pick before you push it into the foam if you would like. Usually when I'm making a centerpiece or floral arrangement, what I do on the front, I usually do on the back, or what I do on the left side, I do on the right side. But in this situation, since it's a little sleigh, I'm doing things a little bit differently. And you're also going to need some shatterproof Christmas ornaments for this arrangement. I usually like to start out with my arrangements filling in with greenery first around the outer edge. Now I didn't put very much greenery in the front because I'm going to be adding some shatterproof Christmas ornaments to the front of the sleigh. Then now I'm going in with the Mainstays brand mistletoe bush. I just cut it into smaller pieces and I'm just spacing it out. So when you're choosing your uh, Christmas picks, make sure you choose a different variety of shades of green and different textures too. Also, for the front of the arrangement, if you do not want to use shatterproof Christmas ornaments, a petite Santa or a snowman or a little elf or something like that would be a cute option. I'm just trying to give you some ideas. Now I'm taking the glitter fern from Dollar Tree, just cutting it into shorter pieces and adding it to the front left of the arrangement. Then I'm going to place a piece on the front right what I do on one side, I like to do on the other. Like I said, the front's going to be a little different than the back because I'm adding the ornaments. And then I like to add pieces of the glitter pick, the fern glitter pick in the center too because of the different variety of textures too. So it's just a fun element and it's also silver. So just try to think about that too when you're picking it out. Find pieces that work well together. Just kind of hold it in your hand in the store and just see what works well. And if it doesn't work well, put it back and try something else. When you're making your arrangement, kind of step back from it and look at it, spin it around, see if you need to add something or take away something and just take your time. I don't usually cover my foam with moss when I start, but if you like to do that, don't forget to do that before you start the arrangement. I like to add um, like some extra leaves if I can still see the foam when I get my arrangement done. I like to fill in with some extra leaves, just hot glue them where I need them. So that's always a thought you could do if you don't like using foam uh, moss either. These picks come in different colors. I also picked up a package of red, so that would have been a beautiful option too. So just remember to choose colors that work well together and don't be afraid. If you don't like it, just pull it out and try something else. And most everything came from Dollar Tree except the uh, mistletoe bush and it was from Walmart, Mainstays brand. I believe it's like $2.47. So everything's very inexpensive in this centerpiece. Don't forget to check places like Goodwill, thrift stores, garage sales for cute little vases to put these centerpieces in. Next, I am just using some Gorilla Glue hot glue to hot glue three 
uh, shatterproof Christmas ornaments in. So I used one large one and then two smaller ones on the sides. Just be very careful when you're using your hot glue and kind of hold the ornaments in place for a little while and let the glue have time to set up and dry. The last thing I added was my red poinsettia pick and poinsettias come in beautiful colors this year. So you can go with the red, white, rose gold, gold, silver. There's lots of choices. I went with the traditional red and so I just took my poinsettia pick from Dollar Tree and cut it into shorter pieces and then I saved the leaves to fill in where I could see the moss at the end. So just cut your poinsettia into shorter pieces and then I started out filling in one on the front left of the sleigh and one on the front right of the sleigh and I just kind of did a pattern with the pretty poinsettias. Just remember when you're cutting your poinsettias to leave some of them longer so that you can put them in the center of your arrangement and then you'll want some shorter for the sides. I didn't add any poinsettias to the back of the arrangement. The back of the arrangements, it's, it's just pretty greenery, but I think that's okay. I'm going to put it on um, one of my entry tables when you walk in the front doors. And so I think it'd be perfect there. So I didn't put any flowers on the back, but that's always an option if you would like. Or also if you wanted to add something else, some berry picks would be pretty in this centerpiece. I took a short video of the arrangement from the front left side, right side, and the back so that you could see how it looks from all the angles. And I think this would be a perfect arrangement to put on an entry table, a coffee table, in a guest bathroom, on a dining room table, so lots of options. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, share it, leave me a comment, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching.